Okay, question number four on the higher paper. If you're looking at the foundation paper, it's actually question number 22. It's asking us to draw this graph here. And it's asking us to go for values from minus 2 to 2 for x. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. One way to do it is to draw yourself a table. Nice big table of values. And you use the x values that go from minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, whichever ones you need. And you calculate the y values. So I'm going to calculate 2. Well, this means multiply by 3 and then add 4. So 6 adds 4. 2, 3 is a 6. So add 4 is 10. Times by 3 adds 4. 7 times by 3 is nothing. Add 4 is 4. And you probably spot a pattern of what's going on here, but let's just check. 3 lots of minus 1 is minus 3. Add 4 is 1. Certainly right. We've got a nice little pattern going on here. So that's one way to do it. Now we need to get these numbers onto our grid. And the grid is below here. And we've got to choose it. And we're going to actually earn marks. Because this is a star question, we actually earn marks for the way we lay it out and the way we communicate and the accuracy of what we do. So let's put our y axis on here. Going right up the middle. And we know the y numbers go from minus 2 up to 10. And our x numbers go from minus 2 to plus 2. So I'm going to draw my horizontal axis about here. So I'm going to label this one x. And I'm going to put that as 1. That as 2. That as 3. Even though I only have to go to positive 2. So put that one minus 1. That one minus 2. That one minus 3. On the y I'm going to go minus 1. Minus 2. You notice how I'm using the grid lines. Label minus 3. And then 0 is in the middle. I'm going to label 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The highest y number I need was 10. It just gives me enough space. I'm going to go up to 11. And I'm going to label this y. Now I'm just going to plot my numbers. So I'm going to start here. 2 goes with 10. So at 2, the square 2, let's follow this up, it's just off the screen here. Goes with 10. 1 goes with 7. So on the x number 1, I got to the y number 7. Um, 0 with 4. 0 with 4, let's put it there. And it goes. Minus 1 with 1, so believe me, you can do it. And minus 2 goes with minus 2. Okay, so I've now plotted all my coordinates, and now I have to join those up really accurately. So let's get the pen, let's get the straight line. I need to join these first ones up, and then if I carry on down, hopefully, if I've been really accurate, I'll excuse that. Slight mark there. Let's join that down there. Let's just get rid of that. And what we've got is the line y equals 3x plus 4. Now, there is another way we can sort of plot this, and some of you might have done that. You might have used the gradient of 3 and the y intercept. being 4 crosses the axis here and then it goes up 3 every time but I quite like these simple questions drawing a table of values and then plugging the coordinates